Hi, I'm Dudley Brown, the Executive Director with the National Association for Gun Rights at nationalgunrights.org. Now, our office has been flooded with correspondence about one particular piece of legislation, House Resolution 45. Now, this bill is not an internet myth. It's real. It was introduced in January by Congressman Bobby Rush, a Black Panther member, and the bill is extremely dangerous. House Resolution 45 requires a written examination for the purchase of every firearm. It also releases all medical records, including mental health records, to notorious anti-gunner Attorney General Eric Holder. It requires a two-day waiting period for all firearms purchases, as well as a $25 tax on all those purchases, each one. It also sets up a national database of firearms and firearms owners. And it sets up massive increases in penalties for clerical errors by anyone in the firearms industry. And finally, it sets up a federal ban on all private sales. In other words, no more private sales in America, no more grandfathers handing firearms down to their grandsons. Some politicians and their apologists will tell you, don't worry about this bill, it'll never pass. But really, what, why is this so dangerous? We think it's dangerous because one, it moves the yard markers on what's possible. Now, if the extremes define the middle, this bill defines the extremes on the left side, way out there. Does anybody remember the Brady Bill? I do. The Brady background check was considered extreme and dangerous anti-gun anti legislation in the 80s and early 90s. And the fact is, now it's commonplace. Everyone shrugs and thinks, oh, it's okay. Don't worry about it. Even gun owners sometimes do that. Now, compromise is also a big enemy here. Now, virtually all gun control we've had in the recent decades have all come through compromise. And so that's why I tell gun owners we must be vigilant. We can't let down our guard. We can't assume that no deals are being cut in back rooms, that everything's fine. So, what I'd like you to do is take some action. Number one is go to nationalgunrights.org and sign our petition. That's a great place to get the newest update on this bill and other legislation um, and sign the petition against this bill. Uh, number two, um, at that website you can download our fact sheet. And it's the kind of thing you can print out on your printer, take to the coffee shop, talk to your friends about it, um, and get them involved in this fight. Number three, we hope you go to nationalgunrights.org and donate to the group. If, even if it's just five dollars or you can afford a hundred dollars, anything in between, Frankly, we want to have you on board and invested in this fight. So thank you and be vigilant.